When an APU is louder than normal or makes unusual noises, it is usually caused by damage on the APU compressor impeller blades. With a flexible borescope, you can do an internal inspection to verify damage to the load compressor or power section before removing an APU. So borescoping, first off, it's a visual inspection and it lets you gain access to areas of the engine that you would not normally be able to see. But with the borescope, you can go right to that location and do a comprehensive visual inspection. In this video, we're going to review the borescope procedure for the 331-500 APU on the Boeing 777. First, you'll inspect the load compressor. Then, you'll inspect the first stage compressor. Next, you'll move the borescope to look at the second stage compressor. Finally, you'll position the borescope to inspect the combustion chamber, the first stage stator vane assembly, and the first stage turbine section. Before you insert the borescope, check the APU temperature on the flight deck to make sure that it is not more than 176 degrees Fahrenheit. Excessive heat can damage the borescope. So your first inspection area is going to be the two impellers that are off of the inlet. You can insert the borescope through the load compressor borescope port, or you can open the IGV vanes and go through the plenum access doors. If you go through the panel that you remove, you'll get a better picture. You'll get more area that you can inspect, as opposed to going through the borescope dedicated port that lets you see the exit into the diffuser. Make sure that the tip of the borescope is clear of the impeller blades. Know where your engine is when you are rotating so you don't take the tip off of the borescope by rotating it. Adjust the borescope as necessary to see the load compressor. Slowly turn the shaft counterclockwise and examine the load compressor thoroughly for corrosion or foreign object damage. To inspect the first stage compressor, insert the borescope tip through the inlet screen. Again, carefully rotate the shaft counterclockwise to inspect each of the 17 blades on the impeller for damage. You might get a better inspection on the leading edge if you divide it in half and do up towards the, the, the root of the, uh, the blade on the impeller and then follow it down towards the, the, the tip blade tip so that you ensure better coverage on your inspection. So the second stage engine compressor, to, to borescope that, you're going to remove the borescope plug. and go up into the engine and you'll see a small hole that you enter the second stage cavity. Carefully inspect the moving parts for damage. Some diffuser vane damage is permitted if the compressor blade damage limits are not exceeded. Refer to the AMM for conditions, limits, and necessary actions for all visible damage. Slowly put the borescope in the borescope port, 
the igniter plug port, or fuel nozzle port. Move the bore scope to inspect the annular combustion chamber. Next, inspect the first stage stator vane assembly for heat distress, corrosion, or foreign object damage. So one, one technique that I use when I'm bore scoping, especially if I can't find a good landmark within the engine, I will inspect the lower portion of it, of the combustion chamber, and then I will take the bore scope and bring it all the way around so that I can see the bore scope again. And then I'll inspect all the way coming back, pulling the bore scope, and it'll let me, allow me to do the inspections in areas where it normally would try to fall. Finally, inspect the first stage turbine. Slowly rotate the shaft to inspect the entire turbine. You have to practice and practice to get proficient at bore scoping. That's probably the number one tip that I would say to make you a better bore scope technician is practice. For specific details about the bore scope procedure, refer to the Boeing 777 Aircraft Maintenance Manual. For technical assistance, contact the Honeywell Technical Operations Center.